Good afternoon. This is Rich Nass, Executive Vice President with Open Systems Media, and I am here for this week's installment of Five Minutes with. This week, I will be speaking with I will be speaking with Case Links, and he is the founder and the CEO of Green Peak. Good afternoon, Case. Hey, Rich. How are you? I'm doing just fine. Thank you very much. Okay. So uh, people may not know this, but you were very involved with the uh, actual creation of Wi-Fi, and you were actually involved with Wi-Fi even before people knew it as Wi-Fi. It had some IEEE designation at that point. Um, I am guessing that at that point when you guys were discussing the standard that those meetings were somewhat interesting because everybody seems to have their own issues and, and their, their own agenda. Um, what are some of the ideas that people had in those meetings that we actually never saw? Yeah, uh, people think uh, it should have been a straight road from uh, the idea of uh, wireless um, communications to, uh, to Wi-Fi. But uh, in reality, it was not. It was uh, uh, battling different radio standards. Um, uh, it were people people promoting a direct sequence, others were promoting frequency hopping, uh, others were promoting OFDM. There were members um, uh, joining uh, the effort, there were others who uh, were very upset and left the effort. Uh, so it was uh, actually for almost uh, a decade a big um, uh, kind of uh, zone uh, where a lot of battles were fought out. But, uh, all of a sudden, with, uh, with Apple selecting A2211, 11, 11 megabit per second direct sequence, uh, that all of a sudden quieted everybody, and everybody took the lead uh, from Apple. So should I ask if your standard actually won? Were you a proponent of, of the one that was actually, actually chosen? Well, we have been uh, part of uh, A2211 and chairing the, uh, the working group uh, for, uh, for, the whole, for the whole decade. Uh, so uh, we have not bailed out, uh, and we have uh, adjusted our proposals and compromised our proposals. Uh, and um, actually, we will deal with Apple to, uh, to get our technology in the Apple iBook and Airport. And, uh, and that was, uh, well, a big win for us and a big breakthrough in the market. Very good. Very good. Okay, so you're the CEO of Green Peak, and you guys specialize in products that relate to the smart home. Um, everybody seems to have right. a different definition of the smart home. What is your definition of the smart home? Yeah, Green Peak is, uh, is, is essentially a company that does low-power Wi-Fi. So we are really following the tracks of uh, what we did in A2211. And, um, well, Wi-Fi was first successful with the consumer, um, so we think that uh, low-power Wi-Fi, it's called uh, Zigbee, uh, will be first successful with the consumer. And, you know, if you look in your house and if you look at all the devices that are standalone in your house, then uh, we think that uh, the smart home is uh, when we get all these devices standalone today, uh, nicely connected to the Internet and controllable with our smartphones from any place in the world. But that technology has been around for a long time. So what, is there a reason that it hasn't really caught on in a big way at this point? Yeah, it is, uh, it is uh, catching on uh, uh, as we speak. Uh, just to give you a sense, uh, Greenpeak is uh, shipping one million chips a week. So, um, but um, what is really the challenge is, uh, again, standardization. There are many standards. Uh, and uh, the second thing is uh, driving down the cost to an affordable level that people – uh, you know, uh, have the right value proposition. Uh, the other thing is that we really need to learn about what it is uh, to have a smart home. And our view of a smart home is um, it's a butler. It's a butler that uh, if nobody is home, uh, he's making sure that the back door is locked. And uh, if the back door is not locked, uh, the butler will lock the back door. Um, the butler will uh, take care that the lights are uh, on and off in rooms uh, based on occupancy. Um, that the air conditioners and heaters are on and off based on occupancy. The, uh, the butler knows your, your likes and dislikes and uh, will adjust your home settings uh, based on, uh, on where you are in the home. Uh, it's not so much even a, a play uh, based on, uh, on, on radio standards. It's basically a play on, you know, what are the right mu uh, usage models and, and how will people like it. And you say you're shipping a million chips a month. So, uh 
what geography is, is, is that going into? I, I have to correct you. It's a million trips a week. And uh, the geography, to a large extent, is the United States. It goes into mm-hmm. shuttle boxes, into gateways, into remote controls, in, into security devices. And uh, there are more and more products that uh, get wirelessly enabled. And, you know, Greenpeak uh, is a leader in this market with uh, longer battery life than anyone else and better range at lower cost. So uh, this market is on the verge of uh, reaching the right cost points and breaking through with uh, with consumers. Well, that's very interesting. I'm going to have to go look for some of those. A million ICs a, a week. That's astounding. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm afraid that we are at the end of our five minutes, so we will have to cut it off here. But uh, I'm going to go back and do some homework on this subject. That's very interesting. That was Case Links. He is You're very founder. welcome. Uh, well, thank you. That was Case Links. He is the founder and the CEO of Greenpeak, and I am Rich Nass with Open Systems Media. Have a great day.